at Richmond under the green flag on Pablo Montoya and Kevin Harvick had a, have a great battle for the lead up in turn one. Montoya's got the bottom of the racetrack. Kevin Harvick trying to make it work upstairs. Not going to work upstairs. He'll try to cross over out of two. That doesn't work either, but he's all over Montoya in turn three. Here comes Montoya off of turn four now. Kevin Harvick riding right there in the second spot. Then comes Martin Truex Jr. Brad Keselowski, top four, already back in turn two. Here they come, three turns, one and two. Montoya, then Kevin Harvick. They run one and two. Martin Truex Jr., just a couple of car lengths back in the third position. And the mover right now, Brad Keselowski from a lap down. He's fourth. Brad Keselowski has struggled back through the field a couple of times here tonight at this race track Juan Pablo right now has worked all night long to get in the position he wants, which is in the lead. Can he hang on there, and does he have? will he have to make another pit stop as he heads over to turn one? Montoya's opened it up by about a car length and a half now, an equal gap back to Truex, then four to Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski. Keselowski feeling the heat from Matt Kenseth. Kenseth is there, pulls down to the inside of the racetrack, and they'll go at it side by side in one. Matt Kenseth slides through. He'll take away that number five position. He opens the door for Clint Boyer. Boyer will take six. We got trouble in the back stretch. Casey Kane is around. Mark Martin is around. Both of them hard into the inside retaining wall. Hood comes flying up on the Mark Martin machine. Casey Kane shoves him out of the way to keep on motoring as Mark Martin with the hood up over the windshield and smoke boiling out of the back of the Aaron's dream machine begins to limp his way to pit road. The ninth time now that the service master clean caution flag has come out and again Dave it's for God that we thought we might be talking to in victory lane. Yeah, it's not going to happen tonight for Mark Martin, that's for sure. That car is torn to pieces. They were racing hard at the exit of turn number two. Jeff Burton was in the neighborhood. He had just slid under Martin. It looked like Martin tried to shut the door on Casey Kane. Casey already had his foot in it. Both of them slid down the banking, slammed hard into the inside retaining wall. Heaviest damage went to the Mark Martin machine, but Casey Kane's torn up as well. So, a lot of action here in the final laps. We've got 62 remaining to be run, 338 complete. Juan Pablo Montoya, Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex Jr., Kurt Busch, and Matt Kenseth, the top five. A lot of work being done down on pit road. Let's go down there right now, Winston Kelly. Well, you might remember, for those of you who have been with us all night long, and for those who weren't, we talked at the top of the broadcast about how critical tires were. Kevin Harvick restarted in second position. He didn't come down pit road that time. Uh, that last time on lap number 330, and while he was able to hang in there up front, he decided, and he and his crew chief, Gil Martin, decided they're going to come down and get four fresh Goodyear Eagles and returning to the racetrack, Kyle Busch, who lost the lap that we reported on that last caution flag, repairing damage to the front right side of his car. He got the free pass, came down pit road, more work on his car and four fresh tires. Alex? And Casey Kane on the pit lane for a second time after the incident on the racetrack, and they continue to fix the damage on his race car all the way around. Every corner has got some damage to it. They're working at the uh, front of the race car now on the left front. They dropped the jack a little prematurely as uh, they've got the uh, jack stand underneath. They're actually using that to try to push the splitter up off the ground. So they're dropping the jack purposefully to on top of a jack stand to try to push the left front corner up in the air. Also, Brian Vickers, uh, an extended stay. He's got significant damage to the nose of that race car. He was the one that pounded the side of Mark Martin's uh, Toyota on the back stretch as well. So a lot of damage going on or damage fiction going on down here in the pit lane. Steve Post. Now down here, Mark Martin's car being rolled back to the garage area. Jimmy Johnson, a lot of left front damage on that car. And they're actually trying to rebuild that left front with a fender that they're going to tape onto the front of that car. But uh, right now they're... Uh, with the one-to-go signal being shown to the field, uh, time is getting a little tight for Jimmy Johnson and his crew. Field is bunching up over in turn number two. They have just received a signal as one-to-go to get back underway here this evening. 